Welcome to the commencement exercises of 2020. This has not been a year like any other, and it is certainly not the year you and your families envisioned from the day you walked into school in September or when you began your careers 12 years ago. This has been a difficult end to the school year, and we all realize that. But you, the awesome class of 2020, have handled this wonderfully. I thank you for your patience. I thank you for your grit and your tenacity. I thank you for continuing to focus on today, which is your commencement day. While we have not completed the school year in the fashion we wanted, don't let today's circumstances overshadow all that you have accomplished because you've accomplished so much. We are a better school system because of you and your commitment to all that you have undertaken. Enjoy today, enjoy the commencement exercises, know that you are AACPS awesome. Congratulations, class of 2020. Members of the Board of Education, special guests, faculty, parents, friends, and finally, the very unique special class of 2020. My name is Jemiah Thompson, and I am proud to graduate of class of 2020 from the Glen Burnie campus of Anne Arundel Evening High School. It is my proud honor to welcome you to the year's 
very special graduation ceremony. My royalty graduation was a challenge. One, it wasn't always easy. I thought I wasn't going to graduate school, but this year I told myself I am going to try harder than I ever tried before. Now here I am, graduating with the class of 2020, finally. <laughs> Anyways, enough about me. Now sit back, relax, enjoy the celebration of your evening high school class of 2020. To the evening high school class of 2020, I am honored to represent the Board of Education to bring greetings to you today. However, while our purpose is to celebrate, I must admit that I wish circumstances were different. And I know we would all prefer to be together celebrating in person. My colleagues and I on the Anne Arundel County Board of Education and our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. George Arlotto, offer our sincerest congratulations on this accomplishment, one of many to come in your lifetime. Today marks a great achievement, and I encourage you to take time to celebrate. For some of you, the path to get here may have been difficult, but no path in life worth taking is ever easy. Robert Frost said, two roads diverged in a wood and I, I took the one less traveled and that has made all the difference. Your road may not have been the so-called traditional one, but you are here now and that will make the difference for where you will go next. You are here today because of your determination, your passion, your hard work. While you did the heavy lifting, there are key people in your lives that helped you along this path, including the great faculty and staff in the evening high school program. And as you say thank you to those wonderful people, my request is that you pay it forward. You see, being here today, you've proven that anything is possible when you put your heart and mind into it, but it is likely that you will encounter people throughout your life who may benefit from your help as well. Reach out and be their source of inspiration. For some people, that is just what they need, just to know that someone is standing in their corner for support. You will have a special ability to help others overcome their challenges because you overcame what may have been a challenging learning environment these last two months. Like all of us, you experienced the transition from traditional to remote learning, and yet you rose beyond many of the struggles to be here today, graduating and moving on to the next stage of your life, continuing your journey and achieving your success. You have worked to help each other cross the finish line in a less than ideal environment. You've helped your family, friends, neighbors and community power through the last few months as well. You've put others before self, even when you have already sacrificed so much. Keep helping each other and our community to thrive. Keep building your bridges to tomorrow and keep dreaming your dreams. One of my favorite quotes is from Ralph Waldo Emerson. He says, do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Continue to create your path and leave your trail. The world will be a better place because of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Good evening, members of the Board of Education, special guests, faculty, family and friends, and the graduate class of 2020. My name is Savannah Davis. I attend the Annapolis Evening High campus. I know these are tough times right now, but we have to keep our head up. And at least we've made it to this point. I would like to thank everyone at the Annapolis Evening High School for helping me get to this point. I came to that school as a struggling student just trying to get through life. During day school, I was finding it hard to focus during my classes, my grades were dropping, and I was very weary of my future education. I wasn't getting the help I needed in my classes, so I tried my best to with what was available. Luckily, Annapolis Evening High School was right for me, and the teachers and staff helped me grow through my education and as a person. 
Simple things such as working more one-on-one -on -one gave me the confidence I need as a student. I definitely would not be at this point without the help and determination of the faculty at Annapolis. Today I'm, a gr I'm graduating with straight A's in all of my courses. This may be a simple accomplish accomplishment for most, but to me it means the world. As of my future education, I plan to attend college, but I'm still unsure of what degree I want to pursue. A career field I would be interested in going into would be criminal justice. I took a forensic science course at Annapolis and found it the most intriguing for myself. I'm sad to leave everyone at Annapolis Evening High because of the good times we've all had. The honor award ceremonies were for me one of the most one of those memories I will never forget. Getting recognized at these ceremonies made me feel like all my hard work was appreciated. I would like to thank my family for their sacrifices along the way to help me get here. To my fellow and future graduates, no matter what you are going through, never give up, reach out when you need help, and always keep your head up. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020. <laughs> Good evening, Amarillo Evening High School. My name is Carter Williams from the Glen Burnie campus, and I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak on behalf of the graduating class of 2020. I feel both honored and privileged to share with you my vision on how my peers and my plan will shape the future of our community. Graduation ceremonies are a milestone in every graduate's life, a celebration of dedication, success, and commitment to our goals. Our high school careers have given us the opportunity to grow as individuals moving forward into what seems to be a strange new world. It's important for us to remain positive, optimistic, and continue to thrive in our own success. Many of us have been going to school together since kindergarten. Our parents, grandparents, and loved ones that have seen us grow through the years are now going to watch us flourish the process. We have accomplished one of the most memorable and important milestones of our life so far. We have all worked so hard to make it here today and should all be recognized for the hard work and dedication put into this year. Wherever the future may be, we always believe in your dreams, no matter how impossible they may seem. Our teachers, families, and friends have helped us learn and grow along the way and have made all our jobs possible. As we continue on our own path for the future, we may have to remember to handle any obstacles we may encounter with confidence and assurance, knowing that we are equipped with the tools and knowledge to work on anything we may face. I would like to congratulate the class of 2020 and thank everyone who has made it possible for us to graduate today. After all the years of wondering when this day would come, we're finally here. The last four years went by fast, just like our parents said they would but I bet no one was expecting our chapter to end like this. Our final class on a computer screen, our final goodbyes through a video. Evening high for me was a chance to start over. My grades had dropped dramatically in day school and I had lost all motivation to better myself. The first semester was a little rough, but one day on my way to school, my pappy told me the easiest thing you'll ever do in life is get an education. And he was right. I needed the support of my family and my teachers and eventually my grades became my own motivation. I now plan on attending Anne Arundel Community College for two years before transferring to a four-year college. Through all the hardships, the entire class of 2020 has fought, and today we accept our diplomas with the weight of the world on our shoulders, proving to everyone we are worth believing in. To my amazing, hardworking mom, thank you for never losing faith in me and always reminding me to shine bright, rock hard, and be the best. I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you to Ms. Tania and Mr. George Amador for encouraging me to follow through with my goals and dreams and to stop for no one. Thank you to my family who stuck by my side through everything. To my sister, my role model, and my best friend. To my uncle, the best man I've ever known. And my aunt, an amazing inspiration. Finally, a thank you to Kyler Amador for being my strength and my motivation. I speak for everyone when I say thank you to all the teachers and staff who led the way through the crazy journey we call high school and spent all those long nights shaping us for the future. I apologize for thanking so many people, but getting this diploma is like winning a Grammy. 
and I hope everyone takes the time to thank the loved ones who have gotten us to this point in our lives. As we leave here today, we divide, taking separate paths to live out our own ambitions. I'm not sure I have any words of wisdom for our graduating class, but if there's anything I've learned over the past three months, it's that no matter how distant we become, together we will slowly but surely make a change. To those who came before us and those who will follow after us, through all the madness, we will achieve greatness. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Olivia Holmes and I'm proud to represent the graduates of Mead Evening High School. We seniors have endured a lot for us to get to this day, and there is a sense of relief for us. We graduated today, we made it here today, and this is our day. Our one day of relief for us to just enjoy the one thing we look forward to since kindergarten. I went through a lot to be here in the position of representing the graduation of Mead Evening High School. I have had many traumas happen through my life, beginning with the loss of my best father figure I could have ever asked for. My uncle Keith in 2014, then my mother in 2017, my best friend Harry, the greatest German shepherd I could have asked for. And finally, through even harder times this year, yet another father figure to me, my uncle Donnie, but I did it. I began to detest school every day, every day it felt more and more overwhelming. Then I made many bad choices along a path of self-destruction, resulting in me being removed from the mechanics program at Cat North. I was partaking in many things that kids shouldn't be doing. I would just wake up and act like everything was okay. And then after continuing my poor choices, I dropped out of my junior year. But I came back to show people and my mom, my family and my friends that I could graduate and get the one thing my family and myself wanted to see me accomplish. I per persevered through the difficult times to be here today. I would like to thank my number one, my mother, Sharon Ruth Helms. I know you cannot be here physically, but I know you're watching from above. And thank you for teaching me many of your old school words of wisdom, the sacrifices you made for me and my brother and the values you taught me. My Uncle Keith and Donnie, you believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. And I want to thank my dad for giving me life and teaching me how to be an adult and supporting me in my decisions no matter what. I want to thank my aunt Jenny and Heather because you two fought tooth and nail for me to be here today. We don't always get along, but we fought and came out loving each other more like family. I want to thank Ms. Curtis, Ms. Simmons, and Ms. Cullum for being the first people I knew at school during my freshman year. You three truly cared about the students and were there for me during difficult times. You were always there to love and support me and help me grow into a productive adult. I would like to thank Ms. Ori and Ms. Booker for always having a great sense of humor and always welcoming and open and willing to listen to me being crazy and to thank everyone for putting up with my crazy self. There were highs during my lows. I met amazing friends and the ever supporting members of school staff, teachers, and of course the administration. I learned I was stronger than I thought I was. I learned the importance of having to deal with really bad situations I put myself in and the bad situations life had handed to me and my family. But I also learned that no matter what happens, you cannot sit down and pity yourself and do everything wrong. Instead, you have to stand up and move because life isn't going to stop its pace for you. You have to jump right into it and flow along with the moving world. I'm going to keep moving. I plan on going to Lincoln Tech to get my certifi certification to work on cars. My final message to fellow students and graduates is no matter how bad life gets, however woman and how limited your choices you may think you have, there are always people in your life that can help you. And all you have to do is ask for help. Thank you again, everyone, for being here during these hard times. I'm sure it has not been easy. And this is not what you expected for graduation to be like but we are the class of first, a pandemic, e-learning, a virtual school, online graduation, and nobody can ever take that from us. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello class of 2020, we made it. We reached our goal and now it's time to move, time for us to move on to better and brighter things like college, the workforce, and the military. I've attended many different schools. I've had a rough four years because of how much I've had to move. I was even at a very low point in my life where I kept telling myself, you are not going to graduate. 
I have also had many people tell me I would not make it to graduation, but I changed my mindset into something positive. My mom has always told me, you're going to make it in life, and you're a strong little girl. Here I am today. I made it. I proved those people wrong. When I moved again, I met Miss Early, and she helped me enroll into evening high school online. It has helped me so much. I was able to work full time, complete my coursework at night online. It helped me get to the finish line. I could not be any happier. There were many people who have helped me along my journey. I would like to thank my mom, my dad, my brothers, and my boyfriend for believing in me and being there when I needed them. The staff I would like to thank are Miss Grow, Miss Burroughs, Miss Davis, and lastly, the two people that have helped me the most, Miss Early and Miss Matthews. Both of these ladies have helped me and shaped me into the person I am today. After high school, I plan on attending Animal Community College for two years. Then I want to study animal sciences and transfer to Virginia Tech and earn my doctoral degree in veterinary medicine. Eventually, I would like to work with exotic animals in the near future. 2020 hasn't been great, so far, great for us so far. But do you know what? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. We did not let the COVID-19 ruin our 2020 graduation. We still made it to our goal. We worked hard to get here and we have, we have to celebrate our hard work and accomplishments. Here's to the class of 2020. We made it. Just one word cannot be used to define what evening high school has meant to me. It helped me fix my mistakes, to concentrate on my academics, and to focus on what was important. There came a point in day school that I knew I, what I needed was a, a different environment some place where I can finish what I started because at the end of the day, what really matters is earning my diploma. I found that place at Evening High School. They have taught me how to become an adult who is worthy of their trust. I always felt like I could talk to the teachers of Evening High School about my future. The teachers were there to help us and teach us how to deal with the unknown. They taught me how to control my anger and frustration and how to manage my feelings better in the future. <clears throat> when quarantine started, first. When quarantine first started, I didn't miss school. In fact, I used to complain to my teachers every night about having to come. However, as time went on, I realized how important my relationship with the teachers, students, and administrators had become. As we transition into the world of adult responsibilities, these lessons will allow us to overcome our obstacles life will place in front of us, both in our personal and professional lives. Thank you, Evening High School, for your support, encouragement, and believing in us when we might not have believed in ourselves. Conferring the diplomas will be the Honorable Candace Antwine. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Anne Arundel Evening High School, I recommend to you, the members of the class of 2020 as qualified candidates of the State of Maryland High School Diploma. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Education of Anne Arundel County, under the laws of the state of Maryland, I do now award diplomas evidencing the satisfactory completion of the prescribed course of studies to the students of Anne Arundel County Evening High School who have been recommended for graduation by the faculty of this school. Annapolis Evening High School, Antonio Francisco Alvarenga Hercules, Savannah Marie Davis, Lake Randall Ernst, Hannah Elise Gallagher, Jocelyn Johanna Coches Castillo, James Edward Hammond, Zaira Naya Isaacs, Celicia Monet Jones, Alexander Ismael Marroquin Avalos, Franklin Josue Medenze Oyuela, Luis Fernando Mascozo Medina, 
Jordi Padilla Santos, Jamaria Destiny Nishan Poole, Austin Avita Robinson, Alicia Yosebel Rodriguez Ayala, Andres Rodriguez Cruz, Jocelyn Paolo Vasquez Bajorquez, Janaya Legina Weems, Jacob Harry Wilhelm, Glenn Burney Campus, Maria Lakia Anderson, Nashon R. Brown, Somalia Brown, Rebecca Helen Butler, Rosa Sarahe Sorito, Noah Mitchell Claxton, Diana Bell Leilani Desrenelu, Brian Josue Diaz Diaz, Amber Marie Dietrich. James Raymond Dietrich. Lindsay Christina Edwards. Garrett James Evans. Josh Aladagby Gibiso. Thomas Graves III. Brian Eric Jackson. Daniel David Peak, Logan Michael Holton, Kayla Renee Ravis, Jose Ruse, Mackenzie Lynn Simmons, Tiana Lene Taylor. Jamia Asia Thompson. Jamia Asia Thompson. Layla Simone Weaver. Connor Lee Williams. Nicole Ann Windsor. Suzanne Noel Zilka. Meet Evening Campus, Elijah Quentin Baker, Ronnie Todd Carter, Oscar Francisco Chacon Mendez, Nicole Rose Chidlow, Faith Renee Garcia, Cristal Amelie Namian, Olivia Rose Helms, Erica Lisbeth Jimenez Pereira, Leslie Karina Lopez, Dean Walter Marshall, Anthony Eric Medley, Jose David Macasso Vielman, Richard Danta Nelson, Michael Amado Padilla Ramirez, Zuma Yari Perez Chevere, Zalia Siani Perkins, Malik Rashad Salam. North County Campus. Anaya Monet Dixon. John David Priya. Lakia Laverne Hicks. Joshua David Klumkowski. Sarah Elizabeth Lamont. 
Gage Jordan McCauley. Romy Daquan Chandrell Mixon Robinson. Juliana Elizabeth Patterson. Isabel Rose Smith. Sean Michael Smolak. Michael Arthur Stevers. Gabriel Paul Tant. William Edward Trainer Jr. Keon Noah Weddington. To the Verona Park campus. Maria Cristina Pamones Flores. Ellie Lynn Isobaker. Gabriella Kelly Garbo. Andrew John Kotanko. Randy L. Locklear Jr. James Francis Mayrose Jr. Jasmine Nicole Rivas. Aiden Michael Terry. South River Campus. Wade Scott Alexander. Jonathan Richard Beach. Nathan Liam Birch. Cameron W. Brinsley. Muhammad Ahmad Butt. Miranda Elizabeth Klein. Clifton James Earl Collison. Miranda Noel Rose Cowan. Aiden James Crew. Mia Rose DeSaris. Bernard Hunter Dixon. Brandon James Getman. Wyatt Wicker Gilcrest. Kamisha Deshawn Grafton. Timu Arnes Hammond. Raul Patricio Hernandez. Jack Hayes Holland III. Marco Leland Hurley. Tiesia Taia Lewis. Arlie Love. Jonathan Mark Margus. Lily Beth Marsters. Carly Luciana Montesano. Ivan Amakar Racinos. Cameron Joy Riley. Robert William Ryder. Tiffany Angelica Satya. Deontay Jaron Sims. Stephen Robert Stringer. Robert Gordon Thomas. Melissa Zanik Vargas Savidra. Haley May Worthling. Nicholas Sean Whaley. As the diploma represents the key to your future, the changing of the tassel from one side to the other represents your passage into this new challenging stage of your life. At this time, move your tassel from the right side to the left. Parents, families, friends, I'm proud to present to you the Evening High School Class of 2020. Class of 2020, as principal, I'm often asked why a high school diploma is so important. Why did we work so hard to get here today? 
My answer is that it gives us hope. The diploma gives your parents and teachers hope for the future. This is no more true than this year. Your experience this year is generation defining. No less than Oprah Winfrey has referred to your class as the chosen class ready to make sacrifices. Nothing will stop you. Though you were deprived of your 10 seconds crossing the stage, you have an unusual bond with all seniors across the world through the pandemic of 2020. It will stick with you forever. Many things have changed in our world in just a couple of months, and you have gained a resilience that will take you forward into our new world. We know that you'll be able to support yourselves and your families. We have hope and confidence in you through the experiences that you have had and that you will be able to raise your children to dream of their future successes and the fulfillment of their dreams. Sometimes we have to fight through some bad days to earn the best days of our lives. This is just the beginning of what we all hope will be a wonderfully successful journey filled with many best days. Life is full of challenges, but you will now be able to meet them head on. We all are inspired by you and your potential to overcome challenges. Good luck, class of 2020. You are ready for your future. Hey guys, it's Mr. Robertson here, man. I just want to congratulate Jim Burning Evening High School on graduating this year, class of 2020. And my word of advice to you guys is just to look forward, stay humble, always count. The nice sense, always stay looking forward, okay? Stay positive in your life. Never give up on your dreams, never give up on your hopes. Always do something for somebody or for yourself. We look forward to hearing from you in, your, in the future of the greatest accomplishment that you guys are going to do in your lives. Congratulations again. Hello, Anne Arundel Evening High School, class of 2020. This is Ms. Golden from the Glen Burnie campus. I would just like to congratulate you for a great high school journey. I know there were some mistakes on your journey throughout high school, but you should be very proud of the men and women that you have become. Go make a difference. To the class of 2020, you guys have come so far. You are so smart and so resilient. Congratulations to you on your graduation day. Para la clase de 2020, han llegado tan lejos. Están ustedes muy inteligentes y resistentes. Felicitaciones en su día de graduación. Hello, graduates of Anne Arundel Evening High School. This is Ms. Zoe from the Mead campus. I want to congratulate all of you on your graduation. I do, however, have a special message just for my Mead Evening Owls. I am so proud of you. So many of you have had to overcome trials and tribulations to be here today. Trials and tribulations that your peers in day school could never dream of facing, but you face them with grit, fortitude, and grace. I know this isn't what we pictured for graduation back in September, but this graduation has been documented and celebrated like no other. Remember, I expect each one of you to follow your dreams, be kind, stay true to yourself, and do great things. I am beyond privileged to know each one of you. This isn't a goodbye, but a see you later. Congratulations again. Hi, North County Evening High, class of 2020. Just wanted to stop by and say congratulations. You made it. You did it. Um, I know that it wasn't easy for everybody to get to this point. Um, I know it felt like this day might never come, but it's here. You did it. Congratulations. Make sure to thank yourself for all your hard work. Thank your parents or guardians or family and friends that helped you out along the way. Um, we all knew you could do it. We are all so very proud. I personally um, just want to say each and every one of you holds a special place in my heart and always will. And please keep in touch. Let us know all the wonderful things you bring into the world. We're so very proud. Hey, seniors. I just want to say um, congrats. We wish you luck. We expect big things from you guys. And we can't wait to hear about all your future endeavors. Congrats. Hey, 
Hey there, Evening High School seniors. This is Miss Boy from the library. I wanted to congratulate all of you on an amazing year, and I wish you all the best. Keep in touch with us and let us know about your future successes. I know you will all have many, and we look forward to hearing about them. Congratulations again. You've done it. Glen Burnie Evening High School students, congratulations on graduation and being a part of the class of 2020. Glad to see all your hard work pay off and you finally make it to the end of the road. Uh, best of luck to you guys in the future. Enjoy graduation. I know it's probably not the graduation you had uh, thought of, but you've earned it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it with your family. Have a great time and best of luck to you in the future. Annapolis Evening High School 2020 grad. We are so proud of you. Hopefully you enjoyed your time with us just as much as we enjoyed our time with you. Wishing you the best, much success, and please take care of yourself.